Status check for continuing the countdown. Umbilical retract. Go. Atlas propulsion. Go. Atlas hydraulics. Go. Flight control. Go. Instrumentation. Go. Communications. Go. Off safety manager. Go. Atlas safety officer. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Launch director. Launch director is go. Launch enabled. T minus 10. Nine, eight, Stable seven, seven, three, six, five, four, three, two. One, ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with MRO. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is the next generation spacecraft unlike any other we've ever sent to Mars. It represents a quantum step. It's a major step forward in capability from the previous spacecraft that we sent. Those spacecraft like uh, Mars Global Surveyor and Odyssey have returned fantastic data. And now we're going to send a new generation of spacecraft. A spacecraft with new improved instruments on it with much more capability to examine the planet. We're flying several instruments whose primary objective is going to be to look for places to land. Yes, we will do many, many other things as well, but probably the most long-term important thing will be to find places to land and to ensure that we can land there safely. That's the beauty of an orbital mission, is that the rover gets a very detailed view of one little spot on Mars, and it's very important. But if you land in the middle of Death Valley, you wouldn't know what the rest of the Earth was like. We cover the entire planet of Mars because we fly around it every single day. And that really is MRO's primary charter, is reconnaissance, to look for future landing sites, to look at surface composition, to help the scientists understand and better define what Mars is and what it's made of. That's what's exciting to me. It's a weather satellite. It's a reconnaissance satellite in terms of exploring particular minerals. And ultimately, it's a pathfinder for where that next mission goes.